The new Howard Franklin Bridge will be spectacular to drive over once it's completed in four years. But did you know there are more than 200 people working on that bridge right now with hopes to get it done on time? It's long hours and dangerous work. Let me bring you up to speed on what it takes to be part of the team building Tampa Bay's most traveled bridge. I went right to Greg Deese. He oversees the project. Good, how are you? It depends on the crew, but a 12 hour shift is not uncommon. The crews start and end their shifts by getting on and off these boats. Wearing a life jacket is a requirement because they spend a majority of their day working on barges. These massive cranes are used to carry concrete and hammer cement pilings deep into the floor of Tampa Bay. It forms the base of the new bridge more than 132,000 people drive across each day. Right now the work is being done on a barge. Uh, as they build the bridge out and pour the deck, they will eventually be able to use the new bridge as a working platform. 43 miles of pilings make up the base of the bridge. Each are equipped with sensors to make sure they're secure. Next, crews will work on building the bridge deck and then they'll work on top of the bridge from there. Safety is top priority. That means crews keep their eyes on the weather too. Be it an afternoon storm or a hurricane, both mean project delays. Weather permitting, the project is on track to be completed by the end of 2025. 